There are honorable parts and dishonorable parts. Dishonorable parts need to be treated with modesty and special treatment. What has happened is that apostles don't know what apostling is. And so, okay, uh, Paul got a lot of people saved. So maybe I'm a little bit evangelist. But he he also seems to like pastor people. So maybe I also have to pastor people. Uh, he prophesied here and there. So I got to do that. And uh, he, he, yeah, he was a teacher. So maybe an apostle does everything. <sighs> and then they burn out. <laughs> Or there's another option. Uh, Paul says in 1 Corinthians 12, first apostles, second prophets, third teachers. All right, so I'm an apostle. I'm number one. You're number two. You're number three. Everybody's under me. Uh, no thanks. <laughs> and we've we've met some of those apostles. <laughs> oh. <laughs> right? <laughs> no thank you. <laughs> Here's where that one came from. The apostle that has to be number one. When you're running a church and you're called pastor for two decades, you start to believe in the fivefold and you're getting excited about it. Now, how many of you are the senior leader of your ministry? Hold it up for a moment. Okay, here's what could happen. Okay, I believe in the fivefold. This verse says apostles are first. I'm the senior leader of my ministry. I'm already first. I guess I'm an apostle. So the definition gets confused. We say, since I'm first, I must be an apostle. Or, Ou, it could be even more insecurity-driven. I'm number one. Je un. I don't want somebody else to take over. Je veux pas <laughs> la place. So I better take that title. Alors, je mieux de ce titre I don't really know what it means. Pas ce que ça veut dire. But I don't want somebody else to take over. Mais je veux pas and that prophet looks like he might take over. <laughs> Got to make sure he knows he's number two. I'm number one around here. It's funny because it's true. <laughs> We've seen it. And, and we don't want to make those mistakes. What we want to know is truly know our calling. It should be just a comfortable uh, uh, place that you can live. If you're an evangelist, si un evangelist and you're the leader of your ministry, you don't have to turn yourself into an apostle. Pas de pour être un Does that make sense? Est-ce que ça fait du sens? Yes. You can still be 
Number one, the leader of your ministry and not be an apostle. So how are we to understand what Paul wrote? Apostles first, prophets second, teachers third. How are we to understand that? Paul's actually saying something completely different. He's not talking about church authority. Now this is in 1 Corinthians 12, Ça, dans 1 Corinthians 12 verse 28. Verse 28. And uh, he says, God has placed in the church, first of all, apostles. Second, prophets. Third, teachers. Now in this passage, what happens is we don't read it in context. As I said, I'm going to paraphrase. <coughs> but if you go back up a few verses, he talks about the gifts of the Holy Spirit. This is 1 Corinthians 12. You guys know this place, yes? But then he has this whole conversation about body parts. And he says the body of Christ has many parts. We're not all an ear or an eyeball, but some of us are a hand, some of, some of us are feet, and he starts listing all these parts. But then he starts saying some really weird stuff that most people don't pay attention to. We're going to look at uh, verse 22, 23, 24. 1 Corinthians 12, verset 21, 22, 23. You go ahead. Yeah. You go ahead. Yeah. L'œil ne peut pas dire à la main, je n'ai pas besoin de toi. Ni la tête dire aux pieds, je n'ai pas besoin de vous. Bien plus, les parties du corps qui paraissent être les plus faibles sont nécessaires. Et celles que nous estimons être les moins honorables du corps, nous les entourons d'un plus grand honneur. Ainsi, nos organes les moins décents sont traités avec plus d'égard. Tandis que ceux qui sont décents n'en ont pas besoin. Dieu a disposé le corps de manière à donner plus d'honneur à ceux qui en manquaient. 24. Yeah. Does your say in verse 23 special modesty? And the parts are uh, unpresentable are treated uh, with special modesty. Plus de gar means, yes. It's not saying modesty, but more care. More care. Yeah. Oh, that's a bummer. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> um, less decent. Less decent. Ah. Ah, moi, moi descente. <laughs> oh, yes. <laughs> what is he talking about? Qu'est-ce qu'il est en train de dire? What parts are treated with special modesty? Qu'est-ce quelle 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 euh, partie est traitée avec plus d'égard? As an adult, I want you to use your brain for a minute. We're going to talk about what we don't talk about in church. Paul wrote this. I didn't write this. I don't take responsibility. But he says some parts of the body of Christ need special treatment. Do you see it? Est-ce que vous voyez? Yeah. That's what he says. Ce qu'il dit. There are honorable parts. Il y a des parties honorables. And dishonorable parts. Et il y a des parties avec moins d'honneur. Dishonorable parts. Des parties avec moins d'honneur. Need to be treated with modesty. On doit être traité avec mod la modestie. And special treatment. Et des traitements particuliers. You see it, yeah? Est-ce que vous le voyez? This is what Paul says. Fivefold leaders. 
les cinq ministères. Are special parts of the body. Sont des, sont des parties, euh, du corps de Christ. They're treated with more dishonor. Ils sont avec plus de but that's why they need special modesty. Mais pour ça ont besoin de avec plus special honor. Ils ont besoin Do you see what Paul is saying? It's the same argument he started back in chapter 4. C'est le même argument qu'il a commencé au chapitre 4. In 1 Corinthians 4, en chapitre 4 de 1 Corinthiens, you go ahead and read verse 9 through 13. 1 Corinthians 4, 9 through 13. 1 Corinthians 4, 9 through 13. Il dit ceci. En effet, il me semble que Dieu a fait de nous apôtres les derniers des hommes des condamnés à mort en quelque sorte. Ouais. Belle définition de temps. Puisque nous avons été donnés en spectacle au monde, aux anges et aux hommes. Nous sommes fous à cause de Christ, mais vous, vous êtes sages en Christ, nous sommes faibles, mais vous êtes forts. Vous êtes honorés et nous sommes méprisés. Jusqu'à cette heure, nous souffrons de la faim, de la soif, du dénuement. Nous sommes maltraités, errants. Nous nous fatiguons à travailler de nos propres mains. Injuriés, nous bénissons. Persécutés, nous supportons. Calomniés, nous répondons avec bonté. Nous sommes devenus comme la, les balayeurs du monde, le déchet de tout jusqu'à maintenant. 14, too? Uh, just 13. Just 13. I can't relate to that. <laughs> in this passage, Dans ce passage -là, he says in verse 9 that uh, we are on, on display at the end of the procession. Mm -hmm. oh, okay. We're, We're, he says we're the last of men in this. Yep. In yeah, there you go. There you go. Right. The last of men. Yeah. Yeah, I have two different. Okay. okay. Um, so they're last. Apostles are last. Les apôtres sont en dernier. Now, if you're last, then you are... Si t'es en dernier, t'es... First. 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 T'es premier. They're last. Ils sont en dernier. Treated like the garbage of the world. Traité comme la poubelle du monde. Absolute garbage. Comme la He says, you are honored. Toi, es honoré. We are dishonored. Nous, on est <laughs> so when he gets to the argument in chapter 12, Alors, il à dans chapter 12 he talks about dishonorable parts of the body. Des, des du corps. Who's the most dishonorable part? The apostle. Les More dishonored than all other Plus parts. Que les Absolutely last. And in that way, et they're de, first. Et de cette façon -là, ils sont les first in what? En quoi? Dishonor. <laughs> Who gets number one for dishonor? That's the trophy award. Le trophy de dishonor. Most dishonored. Le plus dishonoré. Of all the private parts. De toutes les parties privées. We're the most dishonored. On est les plus dishonorés. We are the buttholes. On est les... <laughs> <laughs> you didn't translate, did you? The two colors. <laughs> <laughs> What do these parts do? Que ces -là font? Reproduction. Reproduction. And they deal with excrement. <laughs> deal avec les excrement. You have to have them. Tu dois les avoir. If you don't have them, you're going to die. Right? You do need them. <laughs> If we don't have apostles, We will toxify and die. On va to se toxifier et mourir. S'intoxiquer et mourir. Mm -hmm. right. 
If we don't have the fivefold, we won't reproduce. These are vital organs. More than we think about. <coughs> He's not talking about church structure. Apostles are first. Only in dishonor. Treated the worst. Here to serve. Not glamorous. Need some special treatment. Because the, the, the church should be treating them well. Because nobody else is. Nobody else is. The church shouldn't be mistreating the apostles. Paul's saying, look, we're dishonored. And the world mistreats us. We're persecuted on est and mistreated, on est but the body should actually treat us with special care. Mais le corps nous avec une I'm not talking about extravagance. Je parle pas extravagance. I'm talking about love. Je parle There should be a, a special care for Paul. Il avoir une pour Paul. We would call it honor. On appellera, on appellera Special honor. honor special. Because special. there's recognition of what he carries. Une de ce qui porte. What he carries for the body. Qui porte pour le corps. That we need him to come in. On a de venir. We need him to deal with the excrement. On a dealer avec les excrement. We need what he brings. On a de ce il apporte. It's not about church structure. <laughs> This passage is not about church structure. And we've gotten it wrong for a long time. I think apostles are first. I need to be an apostle. If you're the senior leader of a ministry, you need to know which grace you're actually graced with. You can be any of the five and, and be the senior leader. It doesn't have to be an apostle running the ministry. We just need apostles. We need them in the body. They don't have to be the senior leader of every ministry. Let that shift in your thinking happen. I know this is a different perspective. But this is Paul's argument. And we, we somehow have read the verse by itself. On a lu le verset par lui -même. But it's not what he meant. Mais pas ça il dire. Now this is important, ça, important. Even if you're not an apostle. Même si pas un apôtre. Because for you. Parce que pour toi, you need an apostle. As besoin un apôtre. To help you. Pour Not to be over you, but to be under you. To be there to wash your feet. To be there to help you. To come and serve you. Not who's over you. That's been this terrible question from the two previous moves. Who are you aligned with? Avec qui es en ligne? Who's your covering? Qui est ta Who's over you? Because apostles are first. Parce que les en But everybody needs a covering. Mais tout le monde a de so who's the apostle over your apostle? Alors, qui la de la over your apostle. De la over your apostle. So you find like an 85-year-old man. And I don't know who his covering is. But at least we got some layers. 
so we can feel a little safer. Alors on peut se sentir un peu plus en sécurité. And it's our non-denominational denomination. Et c'est notre dénomination non-dénominationnelle. How many of you, this, this is a shift in thinking for you. Well, good. I'm glad it's a shift for you. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> this is a very different perspective. Because we're not just trying to copy denominations. Denominations exist because there's a lack of apostles. Existe à cause du manque d'apôtres. A denomination start because of an apostle. Une dénomination commence à cause d'un apôtre. One shows up. Un apparaît. One every hundred years. Un à tous les cent ans. And then a movement starts. Et un mouvement part. And there's no other apostles recognized. Il n'y a pas d'autres apôtres reconnus. And when that one white guy dies. Et quand ce homme-là blanc aux cheveux blancs meurt. There's no more apostles. And the movement keeps going. Et le mouvement continue. An administrator takes his place. Et un prend sa place. It turns into a structure Et ça dans une structure that doesn't allow for apostles. Because a new apostle might change what the old one did. Parce que le nouvel apôtre pourrait changer ce que l'ancien fait. He might have new revelation. It messes up our old revelation. And 500 years later, we have Lutherans. We're not trying to copy that system. We want to go back to the original model. On veut revenir au modèle original. We want to have fathers On veut avoir des pères and mothers et des mères who are foot washers, qui sont des laveurs de pieds, have the heart of serving, qui ont le cœur de serviteur, who make a soil qui fait, qui crée une terre that everything can thrive in. Que tout peut le croire dedans. Yes. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. This is why this is important. The, uh, so many people get burned out in ministry. And it's not because they don't have somebody over them. It's because they don't have somebody who can wash their feet. Where's that relationship? Somebody who says, I'm, I'm here for you. I'm here to serve you. I'm not here to put you under my covering and make myself feel good about that. I now have a thousand sons. <laughs> What did you do? You, 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 can't, you can't take care of a thousand sons. Paul took care of 14 churches we know of. Paul a pris soin de 14 églises qu'on connaît. 14 churches. 14 églises. And he poured his life into them. Il a déversé sa vie dans ces églises-là. And it's made an impact. Et ça a eu un impact. For all of history. Pour toute l'histoire. We need to know our own limits as apostles. On doit connaître nos propres limites en tant qu'apôtres. And if you're not an apostle, si tu n'es pas un apôtre, you do need one. Yes? I, I hope I'm making the case that you need someone to help you wash your feet. Not a controller over you. I have so much more to share. <laughs> But I think we can pause right here. You kind of get an idea of where I'm going. 
This is such a different way to see this. It's not about church structure. It's not about church government. It's about five supernatural graces that are very different, very unique. We need all of them. And they, if we have all of them, we're going to have something explosive. On va avoir quelque chose explosive. Something so healthy. No one would want to get burned out. Va être and we can live and survive in this. And enjoy it together. Let's make ministry great again. <laughs> <laughs> That's where I'll end for tonight. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Father, thank you. Thank you for today. Thank you for what you accomplished in people's hearts. Thank you for refreshed lives. Thank you that ministry can be different better, filled with life, filled with color, vibrant, enjoyable. Thank you, Father. I bless your people with beautiful sleep tonight. In Jesus' name, amen. I love creating content for you guys. The biggest thing that you could do as a favor back for me is to share this like crazy. If you want to keep up on it day by day, I would highly recommend that you download the phone app. And if you already have the phone app, tell somebody else to download the phone app and share this on Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, whatever, however you want to share it. Help me out, get it out there. Thanks so much.